I'm Kinda Marnembe and you're watching the Canadian Film Review. War has always affected the cinematic world and provided ample ammunition for audiences who seek fantastic escape or yearn for stark reality. Though hard to classify, I Declare War bridges several conventional genre definitions and pins together two unlikely opponents, children and war. We go head to head with I Declare War co-directors Jason Lapierre and Robert Wilson. Here's your best friend, right? Yeah. Follow the stupid rules. I'm gonna win fair and square. You're gonna lose fair and square. Does everyone know what their job is? Stay here. Guard the base. If anyone comes into this base, we have to shoot them. My name is Jason LaPere, I'm the co-director of I Declare War, and I also wrote the film. It's a movie about 12 kids playing a game of war in the forest, but imagining that they're using real weapons. I'm Rob Wilson, I'm the co-director and co-producer, actually, of I Declare War. Mostly I wanted to tell a story about being 12 years old. I wanted to tell a, an honest story about what, it, what I felt like it was really like. And, and I remember that being a very emotionally intense time and uh, that thing took, things took on a, uh, an incredible importance. So if you had a crush on a girl and she didn't let you back, it was the end of the world, mm -hmm. right? So the, the idea of the kids using weapons was just uh, a metaphor to, uh, for the emotional intensity uh, that, that, that kids feel uh, at that age. So I just thought uh, it would be a good idea if you had uh, you know, a war game to heighten the emotional intensity uh, to reflect what it was really like to be 12 years old. Tell me about bringing this project together. I mean, you know, you, you have a very young cast. That must have been very hard to cast that. A bunch of 40-year-olds take a look at a script written, you know, for 12-year-olds that have adult themes and really serious stuff. And yeah, they go, oh, how are we going to find all these people? And as it turns out, uh, they are young adults. They're not the eight-year-olds we'd imagined when we thought we were casting 12-year-olds. So casting was easy, graceful. Um, Everybody was, almost everybody was here local in this city, and it was a joy for us. It was a surprise, and people would walk into the room, and we'd be like, ah, that's, that right there is Michael Skinner. Mm. We can, yeah. We know that we, uh, we have a rating that works for us to put a movie out that we wanted to put out, which was something that I could watch with my 12-year-old nephew, and we would enjoy the movie together for all kinds of reasons, and it wasn't pandering to... Uh, you know, it wasn't dumbed down for him as though he needed it, and it uh, still entertained me. So we hope we've got that, and that isn't a problem in Canada just based on what it is. But uh, whether we succeed beyond that, don't know. The, uh, the cast is quite an array of uh, personalities. I wanted to know which character you would be if you were in the film. Well, I wrote the film, so they literally, every character is a piece of me. But certainly different crew members would come up during the production and say, oh, I was Alter Boy, or I was definitely Skinner, things like that. Rob, who are you? You know, I would do my paper route at 6 in the morning, the Globe and Mail, uh, when I was 8, and I would blow stuff up with laser beams from my eyes. So, <laughs> I guess that answers that. No, then. I was nowhere near as cool as Joker was, <laughs> mind you. As far as that goes, I was more, mm, you know, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Definitely, there's a website, IDeclareWar.ca. We also have a Facebook page. We have a Twitter account. If you just Google I Declare War movie, then you'll be able to find all that stuff easily. Do you want to win? <laughs> Is this your first war? Yeah. Why'd you come out? Fine, I guess. I don't really have a lot of friends.